Hey everybody, my name is Ray. Um, today I'm exploring the Pine Barrens. I'm at a place called the Brooks Bray Terracotta Factory. This was a factory used for making bricks um, back at the turn of the century, early 1900s. Um, it's been sitting abandoned for a long time, several decades. Um, there's not much left, it's just a ruin, but it's completely covered in graffiti. It's really impressive, so let's go take a look at it. right on the road before you get to it. It's completely covered in graffiti. Pretty crazy. And just right before we get to it, we have this dead railway line just running throughout the whole area. Making our approach, we can see the trees here, all painted. All right, so here we have it. Let's get a look at this structure first. Right here we got this fallen tree, which is all painted up. And up here we have this section. Some kind of uh, metal tracks or something through here. I'm having trouble uh, determining what this structure was. It's pretty cool though. Let's take a walk down here. tunnel running through here. Let me see how far I can crawl before it gets too uncomfortable for me. How deep does this go? Oh wow, that goes down really far. And down here we have some kind of junked up motor. 
We have another little tunnel to look into. This one's really tight. This place is huge. Back over that way, through those tunnels where I was just looking at, and you can see just the foundation continues all through this way. And then back along here. And then we have these walls here, which are at least 100 yards each. That one, you can still see the brickwork on it. Look at all that rubble through this section. And it's all just that terracotta brick which was made here. Wow, look at all that. That must have been the roof of this section that just collapsed in on itself. That's cool. We have graffiti all along this wall. Still see some uh, structure on the top of this one, still intact. There is so much paint here that I can smell fresh paint in the air just walking around. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of graffiti. I prefer to see places left as they are without being tagged up, but for this place, it's the graffiti that really makes it special, really makes it an interesting place to visit, um, almost contributes to just the mysteriousness of it. It reminds me of um, like the Cadillac Ranch, a place like that where graffiti is almost encouraged, so it's pretty cool to see. See even the trees here are painted up. Let's walk past back into this little section here. Looks like some sort of pit, maybe. A 
looks like this is where everybody throws their cans. Be nice if they at least picked up after themselves. Down through this section, we have all these square holes which drop down into the tunnels underneath. So I gotta watch my step when I walk through here. running throughout this whole area and then you got these tunnels and there's these open holes in the ground here so if you come to visit this place just be careful you don't stop and trip in one of these and just little spots just more more of these bricks looks, looks like we got a iron girder Some more crumbled bricks out here. Get some kind of cement there. So this was the Brook Spray Terracotta Brick Factory. A really remarkable, cool place. If you have a chance to come visit it, I highly recommend you do. My name is Ray. My channel is Ray Out There. If you like this video, please subscribe to join me on my adventures in the future. Thank you for watching.